This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 12th of March. Goodness, a lot of people are on spring break this week. Wow. And sure enough, it's going to feel like spring, almost like summer in spots later this week. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots around the network uh, early this morning. When I say early, I mean early. Uh, these were captured at uh, 5 o'clock Central Daylight Time, but uh, our bodies know that it's really 4 o'clock in standard time. Back on the time change after this weekend, that's the Fayette Sky Camp. Things are quiet there, but down south, it is raining. That's the uh, Sky Camp at Atmore, which is in Escambia County near the Florida state line. And as far south as you can go in our state, that's the Gulf Shore Sky Cam. Down at the southern tip of Baldwin County where things are quiet. If you are a beach bound this week for spring break, weather looks pretty decent. Uh, there will be scattered showers and storms around just about every day, almost like summer. But uh, five to seven hours of sun with highs uh, around 70 on the immediate coast because that water is cool. The uh, water is running in about 68 or 69. But once you get inland, they'll be close to 78, 79, maybe 80. Okay, there's the upper low this morning that's near Omaha, weakening and moving toward the Great Lakes. And you can see an array of showers and storms out ahead of that. And the upper support is weakening, so we don't have any severe weather now. The most active convection is actually over uh, south Mississippi from uh, Hattiesburg down to about uh, Slidell, Louisiana, moving east. That'll be affecting the Gulf Coast a little later this morning. And in Alabama, some rain from Selma down to Camden and Jackson. But the northern half of the state is quiet up this way. The, the better chance of showers and storms will come later today, this afternoon. And yet it's warming up. Those are temperatures early this morning at 09Z. That's 4 a.m. local time now. And uh, we've got 60s up to uh, Kentucky and even out west. It's not that cold. So it's starting to look more and more like spring. Here's the watch warning map. The east is quiet. Most of the uh, active weather is really in the northwest where some uh, mountain snow is likely there with high winds. Severe weather, don't think will be a problem today. This is the day one convective outlook, just low end 5% probabilities here. There is a slight risk from Chicago up to parts of Michigan. Tomorrow, low end chance of severe weather over parts of uh, the mid-Atlantic coast. That would include Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Philadelphia. And on day three, which is Wednesday, 5% probabilities. And again, that is below the slight risk standard out west. Here's the rain for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock local time, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about one-half inch. And, you know, and look at the numbers out in the northwest. That's the big uh, action out there, the upper California coast up through Portland and Seattle. All right, let's check the modeling. This is the 06 GFS valid at 1 o'clock local time today. We're on the time change, so, you know, the universal coordinated time doesn't change. So this is 1 o'clock this afternoon. What's left of the upper low is uh, moving into Wisconsin. Down below that, we've got a broad surface low up there with a weakening front uh, that will never make it through here. And again, we'll have a chance of showers and storms later today. Not going to rain all day. Maybe a strong storm, but severe weather not likely. Tomorrow, the ridge is building. And that means we'll warm up. Uh, down below that, the, the, the air is going to be moist every day. It's going to feel almost like summer. And that means some chance of a shower or storm, mainly in the afternoon. Small-scale, mesoscale processes will kind of d determine the rain chances, much like summer, and those are hard to identify more than 24 hours in advance. But kind of a partly sunny day. Some spots could see a shower or storm, but it'll be scattered. Wednesday, same deal. And, and look, we're going to warm up. The, the latest guidance is coming in with 81 both the GFS and the NAM are at 81 on Wednesday. Goodness, that's getting close to record warmth. Have to get up in the mid-80s for records this time of the year. Thursday, same deal. I mean, the weather's just not going to change. Low 80s, maybe a shower storm in the afternoon. And Friday, pretty much the same thing. So if you like warm, you're going to love this week. It's just like summer. And again, every day, yes, a chance of a shower or storm, they'll be, but they'll be scattered, and no human can tell you, you know, days in advance exactly where those things will pop up and there's the upper chart on friday and there's the ridge that's you know building in so and the trough is in the northwest saturday as we start the weekend no change uh, probably low 80s partly sunny breezy any showers very widely spaced and the same thing on sunday warm just an outside risk of any one spot getting a shower and a week from today the weather is just not changing is that bermuda high noses in here much like summer and the west is cold and unsettled. Look at all the snow out there in the mountains of Arizona and uh, Utah. 
We'll check the end of the forecast, March 27th. No cold air look there. You know, we're waiting for that late season cold snap. We see no evidence of that. As ridging is firmly uh, squared over Texas and Louisiana, and again, warm and mostly dry, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, or even if you don't, don't forget to watch us on television this evening. You can watch us on the live stream on the Internet. ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.